and welcome to KRC's Dream Podcast, where we talk about politics, share stories from our community, and also provide practical advice. Remember, we will be podcasting every Friday, so tune in. You can also access information on our website at www.krcla.org. My name is Jenny Sen, and I am your host today. We have a special guest, Kevin Lee, here joining us for our podcast. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Jenny. I'm really excited for this week's podcast. So what is going on this week? Well, I'm really excited to have you, too. This week, we will have for you a story from Sona Yoon. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I know Sona Yoon, and she must have a compelling story. She does. For those of you who don't know, Sona Yoon is our executive director at Nakasek. Okay, so we'll present to you Sona's story. I'll tell you a little bit about my story. My father, who is a, a Republican, a Christian, a father, a brother, a businessman, a friend, is not only my hero, but has been working towards ensuring that not only our family members are able to live in a country to provide for our families, but also has been an agent of change for other community members who are enduring economic hardship. Specifically, my father came to the United States on his own, became a United States citizen, and sponsored five of his siblings, as well as sponsoring us to the United States. All his siblings currently are small business owners who are not only contributing to the economy, but growing up their own families here in the United States. Uh, my cousins now are PhD students who are working to um, work with families to make sure that they're, they are improving their own family's lives. I have a cousin who is a lawyer. I have a cousin who is studying to be an ophthalmologist. I have a cousin who is working in the tech industry right now. I have a cousin who's pastry chef, and I have a cousin who is learning to be a nurse. If we eliminate the current categories that the Senate and the House are potentially considering, that means that my cousins and my uncles and my aunts would never have been allowed to come to the United States, and I would not know them, which means that it would really limit what and who I could define as my family here in the United States. It would really be me and my sisters, and there's only two of us. But now we say that I have not only two sisters, but I've got a whole clan here in the United States. I don't know how other members of Congress define their families, but um, in our community, we don't just limit definition of family as just our nuclear family, but really we rely on each other for our livelihood and for our happiness and for our future. Thank you. Wasn't that a great story, Kevin? Yeah, I'm really inspired by Ms. Yoon's story. So what's next? Now in the next segment of our show, we'd like to give you the opportunity to participate in all the exciting work that is going on. But first, I would like to announce the winner of last week's challenge. The winner of the Find Your Legislator is Tony Choi. Whoa, really? Tony Choi from New York? Yeah, Tony actually won this challenge. Thanks, Tony, for participating and listening in. So what was the Find Your Legislator challenge? Well, you see, each week we have a challenge. And last week's challenge was finding out who your legislators are. As you know, every district has its own legislator. So Tony was able to find his legislator, and he won the challenge. That's awesome for Tony. I'm sure more people would like to participate in the future. Yes, I'm sure, too. Do we have a call to action segment this week? Why, yes. Every week we have a call to action. This week, we would like to give you an opportunity to get involved in some of the work that we do here at KRC. One of the best ways to engage with the community is to meet with folks and to talk to them about pressing issues. I totally agree. It's it's very necessary to talk about these issues. Yes, currently, as you may well know, immigration reform is a hot issue. So KRC is going out to Korean markets in Orange County and in LA to talk to people and engage in conversation. So what do you do that do at these markets? 
Well, you've been there with me doing market outreach, so you're familiar, but we um, we set up a table in front of the market and we talk to people in the community about what immigration reform is, provide them education, and I don't know, why don't you share about your experience the last time you went? Oh yeah, I remember I was chasing down people at the markets, <laughs> um, talking to them and getting them to be supportive about immigration reform. It was pretty fun. Yes, and I think it's a great experience for all of us to engage um, in this conversation with our community members. I, I feel like it's true grassroots efforts, and I really get a lot out of going to these market outreaches. So how can the audience members get involved? It's really easy. Just email me at jenny at krcla.org. My name is spelled J-E-N-N-Y at krcla.org. And we can talk about your when you can come out and join us. Great. I hope people join us. It's going to be a great time. So now in the next segment of the show, I would like to share some practical advice. This week, I would like to touch upon the family petition. Many of us don't realize it, but most of us are products and beneficiaries of the family petition. In the case of my own family, my grandfather was petitioned by his younger sister who immigrated to the United States as a nurse. My grandfather brought our whole family to the U.S. in 1980. Most of my friends share this very similar story. Currently, if you are a U.S. citizen, you may petition for your brother or sister. Also, as a parent, you may petition for your adult children. Of course, there are many more categories in the family petition, but I would like to share about these two particular categories because they are in danger of being eliminated. With all the buzz around immigration reform, how do you feel about the elimination of these categories? Please send me your thoughts at jenny at krcla.org, and I'll answer any of your questions and share it on our next podcast. Yeah, don't forget to email Jenny. And that brings us to the end of our podcast. Thanks for listening to KRC's Dream Podcast. Tune in next week.